Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in today for um, a little bit more of a background and understanding of um, what is expected of you from sociology um, at Chapel Town. Um, introducing myself, I am Natalie, I'm, those of you that haven't met me already, I will be teaching you sociology from September. Um, so just to recap, today we're going to go over um, what sociology is and what you might well, what we will be studying in September, some little bits for you to do over the summer and how we can engage with um, sociology every single day um, of our lives. It's the beauty of the subject. So what is sociology? Hopefully, I mean, the fact that you're watching this now um, signifies that you've got some interest in the course, but what actually is it? It's something that many of you will not have studied before. Don't worry about that. Um, so, although it is available at GCSE, you will not be at a disadvantage if you have not studied sociology at GCSE because we'll go over everything um, again and in, in, in detail at an A-level um, standard. So it is such an interesting course. Obviously, I'm slightly biased, um, but it is great. It is relevant um, and it allows you to critically engage with your day-to-day -day lives, something that a lot of other subjects might not lend itself to too well. Um, and it's just really, really fascinating. So what you will learn um, on this course, so we'll look at um, education, we'll look at families and households, we'll look at um, beliefs, so different beliefs individuals have, and we'll look at crime and deviance throughout the two year course. And when I say look at those, what we're gonna do is critically engage with sociological theory, understanding different sociological perspectives and their views on all of those, to those topics. We will consider how people or individuals within society are influenced or are disadvantaged by a number of different factors within those um, topics and how that shapes their lives and how they interact with society, how they interact with other people and how that increases or decreases the opportunities available to them um, from various different viewpoints. Where could it lead? So there are lots of different um, different careers you could you could join with the sociology. Again, the beauty of the course, because it is so um, so much so relevant to real life, means that any job really is is suitable or or can guide you to, to to a specific career in terms of being able to critically engage with and understand the world that we live in that is so valuable and and you know although we could think about careers like um sociological research if you wanted to be a researcher teaching social care um journalism loads of different things that directly might have an impact on on um or a direct link to sociology any job that you do really and and really not even necessarily a job but to you as an individual and a, a whole person being able to have the skills that were developed through the study of, of sociology and understanding the different perspectives of sociology will allow you to be a better person, as cheesy as it sounds. Sociology, there are no wrong answers, but it's just the beauty of understanding different approaches to understanding different things and understanding the world that we live in and what does that mean in terms of who we are today. We really challenge the taken for granted in sociology and it's an opportunity or gives us an opportunity to ask questions that we might not really have had the opportunity to ask before. What does my gender mean for me and my, my opportunities in life and, and, and the kind of interactions other people have with me? What does it mean, my ethnicity mean and, and how does that prevent me from getting to places? How does it enable me to get to places? And what about my social class? Like, what does that mean in terms of the education that I can get or the, the knowledge I can, I can gain from, from anything and understanding where family plays a part in all of those things, where education plays a part, where crime and deviance stands and what my belief system is and, and what that might mean or might have meant many years ago moving um, to what it means now and maybe what it means in terms of the future and how a lot of policy in terms of social policy in our society is shaped by understanding the bigger picture and also the, the micro elements in terms of the individual interaction. So there's lots of um, understanding um, there and, and lots of knowledge that can be gleaned that can be applied 
into multi multiple disciplines so what is expected of you so as a learner you need to be engaged with both what's in the classroom but outside the classroom and by that i mean through current affairs through the media through um, further reading through current research through the interactions with your peers you need to be able to to critically engage with ideas and that means thinking about other perspectives and and really challenging your own beliefs and and your own experiences and, and really understanding why so it's just being reflective asking questions being comfortable and mature to have some quite sensitive discussions within some of the lessons because these are topics that we're not necessarily used to having sometimes they're quite can be quite hard to discuss and um, so having maturity um, reflection critical engagement and um, and presenting your ideas um, and, and your thoughts and, and feelings about different different ways of life and, and different behaviors that you might witness um, throughout your, your life um, so I've given a, a, a brief overview um, a very very brief overview of sociology but these are the kind of questions that that you might think about or that if you are asked and if your answers are quite positive and, and you're feeling quite intrigued by by what the answers to these are then sociology is definitely for you so have we ever wondered about how we developed into a society we are today as i said we will consider a move through time have you ever um wondered about how the way you see yourself as a person internally might determine the way people identify you or whether men and women are more likely to commit a crime um, which is what we will focus on in the crime and deviance topics and what why is that what what is that all about sociology is about understanding the society that we live in and the interactions people have with each other it is a people topic so understanding the people um, the people and the interactions that we have with those people hopefully you have seen this document now this is was placed on the chapel town um, website a while ago now so hopefully you've accessed it but if not please make access to it now um, you should have received links for that uh, and i'm sure the links will be coming out again um, to you but this booklet provides a, a vast amount of information about what sociology is why it's interesting to study it from various different um, academic perspectives um, some further reading that you can do so there is a further reading list in there um, what you can read over the summer and when I say further reading it doesn't necessarily always mean reading it could mean watching the beauty again of this subject is that by watching TV and watching the news and watching current affairs and social media that is revision as long as you critically engage with that and try and understand and pull in different ideas and, and think why questioning it basically and thinking why is this going on what is and what does this mean for, for individuals and, and, and different elements then that is your revision it's not sat writing notes I mean that is an element of it but really the beauty of it again is just being able to always be present in so present with sociology by your side it's there all the time so lots of ideas about further reading that you can engage with within this document but again, I want you to pay particular attention to this um, the page of the document that, that's an example uh, or a, a snippet, what you call it, a screenshot of that on the right hand side here. It's the preparation task for you to do in September. So you've got the specification which is linked to in the document to read through and will highlight and, and give an overview of all the topics I've just mentioned. Also to watch the video on what sociology is to give you a bit more detail on that but also current affairs now when i did this document covid19 as, as it still is now was very very dominant and um, preventing us from 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 behaving normally and, and what we are used to but also it impacts lots of things education now i'm giving you an induction in a very very different format to what would be expected if, if like this time last year how it has impacted the family the different interactions and structures within the family what does that mean what is the impact being on crime what is the impact of, of COVID-19 being on people's beliefs and people's religions um, is ultimately what that means so consider that think about that, that them questions how has it impacted those different elements lots of things within the media there are some statements there that you need to, um, to think about 
and think about which you most agree with and disagree or disagree with and why is that who are you as an individual and your current um thought process your current cognitions and how do you feel about um these statements and do you agree with most and least if there's some you're unsure about bring that discussion with you and um, when i see you or or interact with you i suppose into whatever form that is in september because obviously we still don't know another thing since um creating this document that's come about it's not come about it's always been there but it's certainly more dominant within the media it's a black lives matter based on the the um the traumatic and terrible death of george floyd which prompted um, a lot of protests around the world and again we can use our sociological understanding and our, our reflective and critical thinking to understand what what is going on and why have we got racism in our society so lots of different things to consider there here are some um some headlines so like i say it's in the media it's current it's it's, it's everywhere to read in terms of covid19 i've got some headlines on the black lives matter stuff but you can see how it's influ influencing ethnicity in terms of the bane deaths um, British Asian minority um, minority groups there. Yeah, sorry, Black and Asian minority groups there. Um, children needing foster care rises forty four percent since coronavirus. Why is that? What does that mean? We've got lots of families that are deciding they can't cope with their children because they are at home. I don't know, but really unpicking these ideas and these questions, thinking what what why what does this mean? A mother of two who died by suicide tell. Uh, tell how um, COVID lockdown has a massive impact. So the fact that this isolation away from the interaction of others, we've been kind of prevented from doing, is, is really had a, a massive impact on people's self and people's self-esteem and identity and, and mental health. And it's important that we consider that um, and how a virus has then led to that indirectly, um, led to that death. So it's really important to consider these headlines so please engage with these um, as you see them and as they come up in your life again i suppose more dominant and more prominent and certainly with more force at the moment is the black lives matter and uh, protests and, and um, this idea that we need to really um, change the way that we are behaving us in our society in the education topic we're going to look at institutional racism within the education system again you can see a headline there the creating a ministerial role to to fix this unequal education system that is placing ethnic, ethnic minority groups at a disadvantage. Now, it's not something that you might have ever considered before. You just go to school, you do your work and get on with it. But really, your place in the race of education to a degree and, and in your attempt to gain some um, educational capital, really, you've not all started at the same point and whether it's your ethnicity when we're talking about black lives matter whether it's your gender um, whether it's your social class not everybody has the same opportunities in life or certainly not the same starting point and the educational system as we will understand really impacts that and prevents that and doesn't necessarily encourage equality um, and it's really really interesting to see and really interesting for me to see as a sociologist how this is, is happening now in real life and how people are trying to make that change society is not rigid it's not stuck in one place it is it, it changes it was different 100 years ago to what it is today to what it is today is going to be different and what it is in 100 years time and it's really interesting to work out how we can make society better to fit the needs of the individuals within society at a given point in time People today are different to what they were many years ago, and people today are will be different to what they are in the future. And it's about how we interact with that and how we create a society that that, that is better, basically, because that's obviously what we all want. So you can see how we can critically engage with the media on, on lots of different things there. Here are um, some quotes. I won't read them out. Um, you can, you can sit and, and have a little read of them now as i'm talking but these are from current year 12 students um students are very very positive about sociology when, when they're studying it and um, remember that it's not like maybe some of the other science topics that you study it sociology is a social science not a natural science so we will be speaking about um about people but again 
there's no wrong answer in, in sociology, which is the beauty of it, like there may be in some other subjects, like if you get a math, maths equation, you've got an answer and that's that. Sociology, there's no wrong answer. It's about thinking about all the possible answers and what that means. So being analytical, being critical and really evaluating every single view, because as individuals, we are not robots, as some might, um, or some theories might suggest, or or some um, some elements of our society may suggest we all have individual interactions both internally and externally which we need to understand why them ideas form and what them ideas mean and how we can can incorporate other people's ideas to help us understand different things that we might not know about so that is i think yeah i think so um ultimately that is a, a quick snapshot of sociology please engage with that document um i'll send it um again so hopefully it'll accompany this recording um so you can access that and, and lots of different ideas and further reading so important to equip yourself um, with all of that them tools to be prepared to study sociology particularly it's something so brand new so you've not got that foundation in place um so so yeah, so I look forward to meeting you in September. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, you should have access to my email. It's on the, the website on the socio sociology um, curriculum page. Um, yeah, take care, have a lovely summer. Um, bring your reflections of um, COVID-19 and what it's done for those, uh, for the family, for education, for crime and beliefs. Do the same for Black Lives Matter and think about what that might mean and, and how maybe education could be racist or how crime and deviance or certainly the police could be racist because that is ultimately where this is all stemmed from um, in terms of the current, um, the current media um, representation of all this. Um, and, and again with religion and families and households so lots of different things to consider and, and, and how they play out but I'll stop going on now and um, please email me if you've got any questions again have a lovely summer take care and I look forward to seeing you in September bye